just charging until once these lights go off it'll beep guys i'll be doing a review of the cell meter 8 uh you can buy this off banggood for around 20 dollars what this is is that if you're if you use lipo batteries or any sort of batteries for example um it's important to keep them in a storage charge a storage charge is a voltage where the battery would stay without getting um, where you can keep the battery for a long period of time without it getting ruined so if you keep the battery at too high of a voltage or too low of a battery voltage the battery will get ruined and maybe puffing up and get uh, destroyed a bit so this is a simple 3s battery i'll be using for this demonstration so over here it shows the pins um, pins where you plug in the battery you plug in the balance connector which is this white thing over here so it's eight pins so you can it can take up to an eight cell battery and on the left it shows the type of battery you'll be using so if i'm going to turn it on you just plug in the balance connectors into the side so it powers on right here so immediately it shows us the total percentage the battery has total voltage and the type of battery so this is a lipo battery so if i click on to cell it shows them the voltage per cell so for this cell it's 3.9 volts the second cell is also 3.9 volts and the third cell is also 3.9 volts this is a good sign because the battery is balanced so let's say you go flying in your and you don't use all the batteries and you want to discharge them this is where this comes in handy so what this is is this is this uh, chip um, which powers these three LEDs and each LED just plugs in to the to these white holders right here so I'm just gonna show you how to set it up so it's very straightforward so I just start off by plugging in the LEDs into these holders so just plug it in real quick and these are halogen lights so if you have any laying around at home you can also use those as well if you wish so I just plug them in as so so then over here this is a Dean's connector but since um, the battery I'll be using requires an XC60 connector I needed um, I soldered I sold I created an I created an adapter um, which connects a Dean's connector to an XC60 so I can link them in the description below so you just plug it in like so and then um, finally it comes with this this is just to help complete the circuit so this is it comes with the package it just plugs in right here um, there's just a slot for it let me just get this in yeah so this is the setup for the lights so now if I'm gonna be um, discharging the lights the first step you would do is you'd plug in the balance connector into the side of the cell meter like I did earlier so plug it in like so and then now for the discharge um, you would first start off by um, plugging uh, the battery into the XC60 connector that I created so I'm just gonna plug this in and find this all right um, put some pressure um, Oops, my bad. So plug it in. This is creates a connection. So then finally, uh, you take the other end, which is connected right here, and you plug it into the other side right here. All right. Now that it's all set up, the lights are right here. I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm just gonna hold discharge right here, and it'll automatically discharge it as well as balance the batteries, which is what you want. So now it's it's to prevent starting to discharge. As you can see, these lights are lighting up these halogens, and they're gonna get very very hot. So I highly recommend keeping it on uh, other surface that isn't gonna melt. So all these lights are turning on, as you can see. So um, and then once these and then you can see over here, it shows the total um, voltage the battery has. So it's gonna keep on discharging until. Once these lights go off, it'll beep and tell me it's done. So I'm just going to leave this here so you can see it. So it, it, st it just started beeping. It's starting beeping right now, which indicates it's done. 
So all I'm gonna do is unplug the battery from here and then unplug it from the whole thing. Wait, there it's pretty tight. All right, and then that's it. So now the battery should be completely balanced. So I recommend not touching the lights until they cool down because they're very, very hot right now. So I'm, if I'm just gonna test out the battery now, you can see how um, it's completely discharged and each cell is about 3.7 volts and it's pretty close. Each cell is very close to each other. So it's pretty well balanced. 